Hey everyone, this is Reclaimer with 2XP Gaming. Uh, I was very lucky to get access to the beta for The Division on PC. I've been playing it for a couple hours now and I wanted to give you some initial impressions of my PvE experience in the beta. Now, there's only one true story mission in the beta, uh, which is where you start your basically your forward operating base. Um, so that's kind of where I'm going here with this video. As you can see, we jumped right into it and we're kind of looking at the gunplay and the mechanics of the game in one of the random maybe not so random encounters that showed up on my map here I'm supporting the joint task force uh, by getting rid of some some baddies uh, so you can kinda see the use of the cover system here the reload mechanics as well vaulting etc um, the game makes for pretty interesting use of cover uh, it's kinda like snap cover and it's kind of like what you would see in Gears of War um, Although it does feel a little clunky, especially when moving from cover to cover. Uh, keep in mind this is a third person shooter, so you can do see here that this is all third person. Um, your grenade throws are marked on the map and you're kind of seeing your DPS, your damage per shot. As you hit some of these baddies, you see a, a little bar over the top of them with uh, their health indication and their level indication. Uh, which is really, really similar to Destiny, but it's also things that you'll find in other MMO games, which this is kind of an alternative MMO game. Uh, in completing encounters are going to give you different uh, rewards for those encounters. Sometimes you're going to get credits and a loot drop. Other times you'll get uh, points that you can use to make your base a little better back at home. As you can see here, I've called up the map interface, which it'll show you the different encounters that are available in the game, story missions, loot locations, etc. All you have to do is just click on a section, and it'll go ahead and let you know where to go next, and shows it up on the map. Now, I will say one of the things that I find a little bit odd is the the non-player characters that are shooting at you, the AI. They seem to be really few and far between when you're not in a mission or some type of activity. But nonetheless, you can find them and they will sometimes drop loot. Um, so I typically like to, when I play games like this, like so Daisy, for example, I loot everything. Um, and I think a lot of MMO players are used to doing that. Now, you have the ability to do a lot with the inventory that you have. As you can see, you have your gear and your armor and your weapons, uh, your mods, and you can kind of see your health stats and your skills. Um, and as you can see here, I'm looking at holsters, and they give you different levels of armor and uh, recovery. Uh, so it's definitely important, just like in any MMO, to kind of see what's better than others. Um, there's common gear, there's uncommon gear. This is really kind of like Destiny, where you have your greens, your blues, your purples, and your golds. Um, so you can equip these items, you can dismantle items to get resources from them. You can take a look at your primary attributes, your pouches, uh, and then you can also uh, kind of take a look at where you stand for crafting sources. So do you need tools? Do you need electronics? Do you need fabric? Um, because you will pick up blueprints along the way, which is kind of neat. And then you kind of have your, your appearance mods, which really don't do anything for you. It's just what your character looks like. Uh, so I think they did a pretty good job allowing you to pick a lot of different options. As you can see here, we can also go in and modify which weapons we've picked up over time. Of course, one of the things you look at is damage per shot, but there's some other things you want to look at too, like your accuracy, uh, stability, range, anything. You know, if you're if you like stats, this game has plenty of stats for guns. Uh, so definitely, you know, choose wisely when you're equipping the weapons of your choice. Um, same thing with things like armor. Uh, you want to keep keep in mind that you know you might have something on that you got early on. But if you're not equipping things that you have found, um, you might be missing out on some extra armor perks. Uh, additionally, there are mods that you'll pick up. For example, this vertical grip. Uh, I've so far found laser pointers and optics, extended magazines, um, things that, again, you will find in a lot of different MMO and even FPS games from time to time. Uh, so make sure that you're looking through and equipping those things. Uh, I, I definitely think that they, they put a lot of thought into... Uh, the inventory system, so kudos to Ubisoft for that. 
So another thing I'd like to call out are the perks. So there are a lot of different perks that you'll be able to unlock in this game that will help not only you, but your teammates as well. So currently I have a perk on that pings the area and shows me um, enemies nearby. And I also have a perk on that's kind of like a sticky grenade that you shoot at a piece of cover and then you can remote detonate it, which is pretty cool. Over time, you'll unlock these things. Um, one of the things that I, I guess there's two other things I want to call out about the PVE experience with the division, at least in the beta. The first thing I want to call out is kind of the, some of the complaints that people have been having, uh, and it is one of my complaints as well, about the MMO style of damage per shot to human enemies. When you're playing a game with, you know, mythical creatures or aliens and you're shooting something in the head and they're not dead yet, I can understand that it kind of takes multiple headshots to down something. But when you are playing a more realistic setting and it's humans, it does take away from some of that realism and that immersion that I have to take multiple headshots to an enemy in order for it to be taken down. It pretty much effectively turns these enemies into bullet sponges. I don't really think it's a detractor to the game, but I can see how players are kind of put off by this. The other thing I wanted to call out is graphics on the game. Now, this is something that has been really um, controversial since the first trailer at E3 2013. Overall, I'm going to say that I'm very pleased with the graphics. Now, you have to keep in mind that I'm using a OBS stream um, record, which is not at full quality. So, you're not really getting the justice of the game in this video. But I will say that my GTX 980 card, the default setting is Ultra. So, that just kind of shows you what level of card that you need to put this game on Ultra. Now, even though I had the game on Ultra, there were sometimes FPS drops that were noticeable in the game and artifacts. Part of this, I believe, is due to some bugs in the beta, which apparently are being worked on. Other part of this is that there are some significant bugs with NVIDIA cards with this beta. So if you have an ATI card, you may not really be running into an issue. Uh, another thing with the graphics is, uh, you know, it, it does kind of sometimes look plain and other times, depending on where you're at, things just look beautiful. Um, I, I really do think, though, that really what I care about more in a game like this is the playability and the mechanics. And to be quite honest, I think they really did a good job on this game, at least from what I can see in the beta. If you like Destiny and you like third-person shooters you're probably going to like this game. If you do not like Destiny, then you will probably not like this game. I can foresee this game being a constant grind to get better gear, uh, a constant damage buff to the enemies, effectively turning them into bullet sponges, and we aren't really sure where the end game is yet for the Division. So, I will say, if you are not a fan of Destiny, you will probably not be a fan of the Division. But if you like Destiny or you like the MMO grind, I really think this is going to be a good game. In the addition to the great graphics, uh, for the most part on the PC version, uh, the cover play, which I think is pretty darn good except for some clunkiness, the inventory system, and the fact that you're playing in a world that's a one-to-one -one recreation of New York is pretty darn awesome. So I hope that this gave you a better idea of what we can expect from The Division um, when the game actually launches in March 2016. I will be doing a separate video to give you my impressions of the most interesting thing The Division has to offer, which is the infamous Dark Zone PvP experience. If you like this video, drop a like. Uh, if you want to get new content from us, please be sure to subscribe. Until next time, this is Reclaimer. We'll see you soon.